From calling Pippen his best teammate of all time, to not even being on speaking terms with him anymore, this is what Michael Jordan really thinks of Scottie Pippen. Let's start with him calling Scottie the best teammate of all time. If you weren't there to witness the Chicago Bulls of the 1990s in person, there's a good chance that you haven't heard nearly enough about Jordan's teammates. Players like Scottie Pippen, Dennis Rodman, and Horace Grant. The majority of what we hear about today is how Michael Jordan is the undisputed GOAT of the NBA. And it's true, the six-time NBA champion was an unbelievable player. He could do things with a basketball that others couldn't even think of, which is why he's probably the most sought-after basketball player of all time. But even the great man himself has admitted on multiple occasions that he couldn't have achieved what he did if it weren't for Pippen. Over the years, Jordan hasn't said a single word to discredit his former teammate. Instead, he has heaped praise on Pippen at every chance he's gotten. Even during the documentary The Last Dance, which seems to have been the final straw in their relationship, Jordan can be heard giving credit to Pippen in multiple instances. In one scene during the popular Netflix series, Jordan can be heard saying, everybody says, well, I won all these championships, but I didn't win without Scottie Pippen, and that's why I consider him my best teammate of all time. There are multiple other quotes from the documentary as well, in which Jordan gives Pippen credit for his success. He even goes as far as saying that whenever someone speaks of Jordan, they should also speak about Scottie. So in the 1990s, the Chicago Bulls were a dominant force, winning six championships while pulling off the three-peat twice. That's no ordinary achievement. And for the most part, the credit for that success goes to Jordan. During the same time, Jordan won four NBA MVP awards and six NBA Finals MVP awards. However, the GOAT doesn't want all the credit to himself. He clearly wants Scotty to get his fair share as well. And honestly, there's no doubt about the role Pippen played in Jordan's legacy. Also, it's interesting how Jordan didn't achieve much with the Bulls before Pippen's arrival. MJ was picked up by Chicago in 1984. However, until the arrival of Scottie Pippen in 87, he couldn't manage to get out of the first round of the playoffs even once. After Pippen's arrival, Chicago made consecutive appearances in the Eastern Conference Finals in 89 and 90 before eventually winning the NBA championship in 1991. Pippen then went on to play a major role in the other five NBA championship wins too. That's exactly why I have no doubt in my mind when I say that Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen made the greatest duo in NBA history. Despite what Pippen has been saying about him since The Last Dance came out, Jordan has pretty much kept tight-lipped on their relationship. But let's go back a decade to 2013. Back then, their relationship wasn't nearly as bad as it is in 2023. In 2013, Jordan spoke about Pippen's role in his career while talking to Ahmad Rashad of sportscasting. Jordan strongly believed that along with Pippen, he formed basketball's greatest ever duo. He revealed how Pippen pushed him to become the player he was. Seeing how their relationship is today, that might be difficult to fathom, but Jordan talked to Rashad about how his relationship with Scotty really was. A big brother, little brother scenario where they only thought about how they could help pull the other towards success, as well as how they could find ways of coexisting and becoming better players. One of the rarest things in team sports like basketball is finding a tandem. That's when you have two players so well connected that they look like two parts of the same person. Their link up on the court was like poetry in motion, where both players know exactly what the other would do without even looking. Jordan said that he was able to form that tandem with Pippen and that you'll never have two players as well connected with each other ever again in the NBA. The GOAT also talked about his tandem with Pippen in The Last Dance, where he mentioned that he could never find another partner like him in basketball. Jordan even gave Pippen a shout out in his famous Hall of Fame speech. When Jordan was inevitably inducted into the NBA Hall of Fame, it didn't surprise anybody. But the man who's often criticized for having one of the biggest egos in sports started off his Hall of Fame speech by talking about his teammates. And who was the first person he thanked by name? You guessed it, Scottie Pippen. Jordan said that in all the videos you see of him today where he can be seen winning championships, you don't just see him. You also see his old teammate, Scottie. And this tells you the amount of love and admiration MJ had for him. Even outside of basketball, the two were reportedly best friends. For a long time, even their families used to regularly spend time together, something which later turned into one of the reasons their relationship completely derailed. 
I'll get to that in a bit. Coming back to the Hall of Fame, though, Pippin returned the favor when it was his turn to get inducted. Having been criticized constantly for being carried by MJ throughout his career, when it was time for him to pick who would present him with his Hall of Fame award, who else could he choose but Michael himself? But now, it seems like the love these two had for each other is a thing of the past. And how could it not be? Especially after Scotty launched his latest attack on the GOAT, calling Jordan a horrible player. It officially started with the Netflix documentary, but it seems like the rivalry between Pippen and Jordan has now reached the point of no return. With Pippen now openly hitting Jordan where it hurts, his basketball ability. In this latest round of attacks, Pippen didn't hold anything back. According to him, MJ was a horrible player before Scotty arrived at Chicago. He shared that Jordan was terrible to play with, and all he did was attempt one-on-ones and take bad shots. It was only after Pippen's arrival that Chicago really became a team and started their reign of dominance. He said that the success Chicago achieved after his arrival made everyone forget just how bad a player Jordan was before. And if targeting Jordan's ability wasn't enough, Pippen took the attack up a notch by showering praise on Lakers man, LeBron James. In a comment that sounds like another dig on the GOAT, Pippen called LeBron the greatest winner in the NBA. He also said that when LeBron finally retires, he'll leave the game as statistically the greatest basketball player ever. This statement is significant coming from a player who made his legacy alongside Jordan, since many people now see LeBron as a direct competitor for Jordan's GOAT status. It's truly sad to see how bad things have gotten between the former best friends, especially after Pippen revealed that he might never talk to Jordan again. In May 2023, Pippen was on his former Bulls teammate, Stacey King's podcast. On the podcast, King asked him if he thinks he'll ever talk to Jordan again. Pippen gave a straightforward response, saying that the two might never speak again. Now, King is also a former teammate of Michael Jordan. And Pippen turned the question back towards King himself, asking about all the people who have been on his podcast and why Michael Jordan wasn't one of them. And King quickly replied that MJ is, quote, too big for us, especially after the last dance. Nobody can talk to him no more, he said. But honestly, this feud between the two legends isn't all about basketball. There's a personal layer to it. The main reason behind their fallout is definitely the Netflix documentary, which Pippen called an attempt by Jordan to reestablish his legacy as a flawless icon, rather than actually telling the whole story of the Bulls' success in the 90s. He might say that this is just about getting credit, but it might also be about the tons of money Jordan made by selling a narrative that Scotty thinks is entirely false. Remember how I mentioned that their families being too close is possibly one of the reasons the two aren't on the best of terms anymore? Well, it's been widely reported that Pippen's ex-wife, Larsa Pippen, is actually dating Michael's son, Marcus. Of course, Jordan can't really control who his son dates, but knowing Scottie Pippen, there's no way this didn't hurt their already strained relationship. So from not even being on speaking terms to calling Pippen his best teammate of all time, that was what Michael Jordan really thinks of Scottie Pippen.